hear from. Your past is a gift. So in this one, I'm going to give you an example, okay, of how this process works. So in my childhood, one event that comes to light, which was quite a big event <laughs> and had a, quite a big impact um, on the rest of my life from this one moment. Okay, so one day I had to go to the dentist with my dad. I had a toothache and I needed a filling. And we're sitting outside the dentist's office, we're waiting, and there were two others that went in before me. And they screamed, like, I could, we could hear them crying, we could hear them squealing, you know, <laughs> from the top of their lungs. And I'm just sitting there, eyes popping out of my head, you know, and I thought, oh, I really don't want to go in there. But then I didn't want to put up with the toothache anymore either. So I thought, what do I do? You know, uh, I had to go in. But as we're sitting outside and I'm, you know, waiting with dad, and the second one went in and did the same as the first one. And my dad said to me quite calmly outside, if you make a fuss, while we're inside, if you cry and scream and do all that, that we were listening to, he said, I will walk out and I will leave you in there with that man all by yourself. Okay, now at the time I was about nine years old. So the thought of being in the room with a complete stranger that I think I'd only seen twice before that, I didn't know him that well, um, it didn't really appeal to me, you know, to be left behind with this person I didn't know. So we went in and I didn't make any noise. I crushed my dad's hand, but I didn't cry. I didn't scream. I didn't make any noise. And I didn't show any emotion. I just froze the whole time. As we came out of the dentist's office, my dad said to me what a brave little girl I was, how strong. I was. Now from that event, when I was writing it down and I'm processing it, okay, the event was I had a toothache, I needed a filling, we went to the dentist. But what I got out of that, what I interpreted from that event was that to be strong in this world was to not show emotion, to be brave to be strong means that you don't show your feelings. And this was something that I would become very good at the rest of my life. <laughs> no matter what I was feeling on the inside, to not let the outside world know how I was feeling. Th this was the truth of it. That's what I got from it. Because to me, that's what it was to be strong. Now I know, I've heard, you know, so many parents growing up with boys, boys are not allowed to cry because it's a sign of weakness. And so boys, especially girls are allowed to show all their feelings, you know, they're allowed to do, express everything. They're fine. They're allowed to cry because it's, it's considered, um, soft it's considered normal that you know women that girls cry they show their feelings they, they you know they they have they're weak i guess if you want to call it something boys aren't allowed to and so i think for boys it must be extremely difficult you know that they grow up with this belief that to be strong i'm not allowed to cry to be strong i'm not allowed to express how i'm feeling inside you know, because that's what I was taught from that one event. But I remember growing up, my cousins, if they were boy cousins, you know, and they cried, they were treated like sissies, like they were weak. You know, and as you're growing up and you're going out into the world, you carry this into the world. That to show your feelings, whatever they may be, is a sign of weakness. And so we learn to not show, not to express how we're feeling, even to those that are close to us. We always expect to, we always want to be the strong one. You know, the one that has to carry it all, the one that has to be the brave one. 
because I knew, you know, from my dad's point of view, that he didn't approve of weakness. You know, he, he, he expected me to be strong. He expected me to be brave. He approved of that. And because I adored my dad, then I strived for that. You know, I strived to make him proud of me in that way. But I look back on it now, you know, and to hide your feelings, to not show how you feel is not a sign of weakness. You know, and now looking at it, you know, we lose so many people so many people take their own lives because they can't express their feelings. They don't know how to. It's seen as something that's weak. And so they don't let anyone know how they're feeling. You know, we have to change that. We have to. It's not wrong to let others know how you're feeling. They're your feelings. They're there for you. They're there for a reason, okay? So don't be ashamed ever of how you're feeling. Whether you're feeling guilty all the time, whether you feel ashamed of who you are, whether you're feeling bad about who you are, whatever those feelings might be, they're not wrong. They're just your feelings. They're just letting you know where you are in your life. Okay? So never be ashamed to say how you're feeling. It's not wrong. It's not wrong to be angry. It's not wrong to be sad. It's not. I grew up with all that, thinking, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you happy? You got no reason to be sad. I grew up with that, <laughs> you know? But we have these feelings for a reason. They're trying to tell us something. You know, there's something that we're not happy with. There's something that's not right. We've decided something and it doesn't make us happy with who we are. We've, we've believed something about ourselves. And it makes us feel bad about who we are. And as long as we keep believing that, we're going to keep having those feelings. So please don't ever be ashamed of how you're feeling. They're just trying to tell you that you've believed something about yourself and it doesn't make you feel good about who, who you are and that's why you'll be sad or you'll be angry or you'll be afraid you know or you feel guilty or you feel ashamed all these feelings all right my darling so think about that today please think about it wherever you are with your feelings leave me some comments about how you're feeling and I'll help you as much as I can I promise with my videos to work through it so that you can see how you got to where you are right now and how you can let go of it how you can heal it resolve it release it and move on all right remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and remember to share, because sharing is caring. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.